Hey everybody, this is JP Fire Pledge and welcome back to another episode of Genshin Impact. So last time we were going through and we were fixing up the trebuchet with uh, for Zhang Li trying to find ourselves a Coco Go. So sorry about the weird cut in that last video. I realized it was running pretty long, so I wanted to make sure that the two videos, one wasn't like 50 minutes, one was like 10 minutes or anything mm, like that. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys drop back into that video and I will see you guys at the end of the video. We're another little uh, cut ending there. Have fun. All right, I'll see you guys there, and bye. Ah, these parts look useful. One moment. I will try to repair the device. It is done. The Guizhong Ballista is more intricately designed than I thought. Ooh. Now how do we turn it on? It's easy enough. We simply need to do this. Look, it even has a scope. Over here we have nothing. And over there, more nothing. Hey, <laughs> just what do you think you're doing? So you fixed up this turret because you're planning to do what exactly? Not a turret, a Guizhong Ballista. Also, kindly state your name before you ask a question. It's just good manners. <laughs> Are you blind or something? You're looking at the leader of the treasure hoarders, old man. This area is supposed to be chock full of hidden treasures, but you can't get anywhere near them with this thing keeping watch. <laughs> it might look like any other mechanical device, but trust me, it's got a mind of its own. Last time we approached the mountain, it nearly skewered one of our guys. A few of us risked our lives to disarm it, which amazingly we managed. And then we turn our backs for two seconds, and you've already gone and repaired it! The next thing you'll be repairing is your faces! And that's if you get out of this alive! Tut tut. Vandalizing the legacy of an adeptus for selfish gain. Disgraceful behavior. It is not we who need reprimanding, but you. Only gonna spank him. Or he's gonna make me do it. Please don't make me do it. All right, so I'll show you Lisa real quick. It's been pretty good for her, honestly. Everyone's electrocharged. So if you're able to charge up, like you see, they have a little number on them. If you're able to continually charge this ability up, you can do these gigantic like hits like this. See, everyone took about 400 damage. My normal autos are about like maximum of 70 to 100. Kind of crazy. I don't know. It's like I think that there's way better characters that I could use with her, honestly, instead of her. But she kind of works right now. Uh, you guys have been paying attention to like the notices they put out. They're actually going to give everyone free Fischl coming up soon. She's one of the better characters for everyone to use. So I'd recommend you guys pick her up. And if you don't like Lisa. And you want to use this sort of team where you got a Cho from it. I would definitely recommend spotting her. I'm thinking I'm gonna slot slot her in because a lot of people say that her and Zhang is like her and Zhang, sorry, um, is like the comp early if you don't if we're like the free to play comp in a lot of ways. Like assuming you don't get any roles essentially. <laughs> You can see the only thing that's kind of not great about the comp is I have no reason to use Noelle anymore, it feels like. We'll use her though. She can get a, a big old spin on just to last some people. I think they're dead. I sure hope they're dead. Technically probably using Chong would have been the faster one to do. Is he uh Did I miss oh no I didn't. The I the the rain is such a boon for him. Are they dead? Or they respawn? They respawn, okay. So here I'm gonna try and use the melt combo push him towards Goba. A lot of damage. A lot of damage. 
All right, where's the last one? You like fall off the edge and just sitting down here? Where'd you go, buddy? He's in this place. <laughs> How'd you get here, man? Leave it all to me. You're in for a little. Troubling ourselves over this rabble is not worth the time. We should focus on our contract with Chi-Chi. Oh yeah, that! So we've got the Guizhong Ballista working, but where's our Coca Goat? A search using the Guizhong Ballista revealed no significant life forms nearby, save for the usual wildlife. What's more, a contraption built using Adeptus technology should have no trouble detecting an Adepta beast. As Chi Chi put it. Uh, which means. Pairing this was a complete waste. No, I don't actually believe that. Uh, Paimon wouldn't go that far. We did something positive, right? <sighs> we won't solve anything while standing here and racking our brains. Let's return to Boo Boo Pharmacy, explain that we could not find a cocoa goat, and review our next step. Good idea. We did our best, and that's what counts. Interesting little piece of lore there, though, with Chi Chi. That, like, she kind of is, like, under her own control, but a zombie. She's basically a necromancer, but only for herself. That's so weird. <laughs> what a weird, like, concept. That'd be like you die and you get to live forever, but you tell yourself what to do, so you just basically live forever. That's. It makes sense, like, from a perspective of, like, normal, kind of, like, Western, non, like, necromancy-based thinking. But, like, in reality, there's really no... Unless she serves some greater purpose, there's really not, like, a reason for her to be alive. Because you just kind of run a pharmacy. Oh, yeah, if you guys didn't see, there's little um, purple things running around here. Not running around, like, sitting around here. These are viewpoints. Uh, I didn't show y'all, I'll show you real quick, in the archive. But there's view viewpoint things in these, uh, this geography tab. So it gives you little like pictures and little trivia facts about some of the areas around the world. I have more of the ones in Leeway right now. So like nice little photo mode pictures somebody from the dev team went around and picked up. This one's really nice actually. This is the one we just got. This one's really nice too. A lot of the, mo a lot of the um... A lot of these are pretty nice looking and uh they really made a lot of significant changes materials wise on this everything pops back to new because i picked it up um the only thing i'm not gotten is a loc pearl now i don't know what that is uh i beat some i've beaten most of the bosses at this point with the exception of i think the no i've beaten them all i beat the anima one this morning so i actually have beaten all the bosses so i know i beat all those now and uh, yeah, so we've been making some progress off camera. All right, let's talk to Chi Chi. Wee -wee. I forget how to say her name. <laughs> Forgive us. We were unable to fulfill our end of the contract. We found no trace of the Coco Goat Adepta Beast of which you speak. <sighs> what a disappointment. Don't worry about it. But I feel very disappointed. Aw, poor <laughs> Chi Chi. Why does Paimon feel so guilty all of a sudden? What do you need this cocoa goat for? Cocoa goat milk is tasty. So tasty. Much better than normal goat milk. Only an Adeptabeast could make such tasty milk. I'm sorry. I have a poor memory. I cannot remember the name of the milk. That's why I wrote it down. Where did I put it? Ah, here. This is the name. Coconut milk. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. I owe you both an apology. I hastily agreed to what appeared to be an equitable agreement with this zombie child. When perhaps I should have undertaken further due diligence. You think? Never mind, Zhang Li. You didn't know. A 
as the Leroy proverb goes, all things are random and... Um... So how are you supposed to predict anything? Literally no one could have seen this coming. It's true. Excuse me, everyone. Did Chi-Chi say a bad thing? Oh, Sorry, but Paimon's gonna leave the job of shattering this poor kiddo's world to you. It's time to tell you where coconut milk comes from. No. Im impossible. Seems Chi-Chi took this pretty hard. They all need to grow up sometime. <laughs> Someone learnt a valuable life lesson today, then. Thank you all for looking after my little Chi-Chi. This I boy, ask who... he got to snick. Ah, how rude of me. I'm Baiju, boss of the Boo Boo Pharmacy. I meant that Chi-Chi was the boss. Turns out it's some wacko who wears medicinal ingredients around his back. What a sorry state of affairs. This little mascot is even more of a simpleton than Chi-Chi. Ah, the medicine, the snake is speaking! Nothing in Leeway surprises me anymore. I prefer to stay silent, but faced with strangers, I must speak, lest you mistake me for an escapee from the medicine cabinet, for I am a living, breathing serpent! <laughs> Don't mind Chung Shou. She's a good girl, really. As for you three, communal chaos causing with Chi-Chi aside, what business brings you here? Do you sell everlasting incense in this fine establishment? Everlasting incense? Why, of course we do. Phew, at last. Things are finally starting to come together. Three million mora. Top quality. Guaranteed. You might as well just rob the Golden House. Too bad the cheating of taking it over for now. Security will be tighter than usual. Hmm. Three million. An innocuous number in and of itself. Though practically speaking, it could be a hard sum to come by. It's a crazy number. We'd never be able to make that much more. And as for Mr. Zhang Li, he's around three million <laughs> short. Yo. <Yep. laughs> this is correct. What no shame. Is this the part where we go crawling back to child? Yup. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Coco goat. Coco goat. <laughs> my sides hurt. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe you fell for that. Hey, less laughter, more sympathy. <laughs> I'm almost in tears over here. Uh, thank you. That was the best laugh I've had in a long time. In return, I'm more than happy to sort out this mess you've managed to get yourselves into. Excuse me, sir. Dr. Baiju, isn't it? Truly honored. I'm Child, one of the Fatui Harbingers. Forgive my audacity, but I see a great many opportunities for us to collaborate in the future. If Boo Boo Pharmacy needed a stable supply of, say, coconut milk, the Fatui could help by setting up a robust and speedy distribution network. Strange. I knew the Fatui infiltrated businesses with seductive deals, but so much fuss over coconut milk? Coconut milk. Baiju, quick. Chi-Chi wants coconut milk. Ah, yes, of course, Chi-Chi. Anything you want. Thank you, child. I look forward to a successful collaboration in the future. I can give you a discount on that everlasting incense, too. Let's say 2,990,000 mora. Hmm. 2,990,000. Also an innocuous number in and of itself, though practically speaking, it is a whole 10,000 less than the original sum of 3 million. Well, now that this is settled, we must head back to Yujing Terrace. Mr. Child, Dr. Baiju, little Miss Chi Chi, see you soon. Dong Li literally over here taking the worst deals possible. Ah, that lot is an absolute riot. Honestly, I can't remember the last time I laughed so hard. So, you've been eavesdropping, I hope. What have I missed? Yes, Master Child. They spoke of the Qixing taking the Golden House. Well, well, well. Ningguang and her Qixing cronies. 
What else would they be hiding in the Golden House, if not the Exuvia? I apologize, but I warned you, didn't I? As the old Leo is saying goes, the walls have ears. Hmm. Well, we already kind of knew he wasn't really a good guy, but that kind of cements it. Kind of want to talk to this chick again. This is good. There will be coconut milk from now on. Yes, it's good. She just sounds high as shit. What an odd exchange we've had. Well, I look forward to your patronage in the future as well. <laughs> and that sound is a laughter of a man who's found new people to fleece. Consider yourselves warned. So this guy is the first you all see um on his pants. How he has like Chi Chi over here has um well, she doesn't have one on her actually, but how uh Zhongling has the red on her little tassel on her side right here. He's the first guy we've seen who has a green, so he has Dendro. He's the only character in the game who's had that so far. That's really interesting, so he must be unlockable. Hero, watch out for this boy and a snake in a couple of months when they release Dendro in the game. All right. We'll run over there and place the incense. Uh, by the way, for anybody watching this right now who's made it this far, appreciate you guys doing that, by the way. I saw um one of the videos we made, the, uh, oh, let's teleport. The one for um, opening the wishes where we opened about 50 of them got like a pretty good amount of view, more views than I pretty much any ever gotten on a video before. So thanks to any of you guys who watched it who are also watching this part. Definitely is very nice. Makes me uh, a little more motivated to continue making stuff like this. It's just kind of for fun for me, obviously not making money off the views that I make, obviously. But it's like, it's kind of cool. I'm, I'm, it's kind of gives me an idea what y'all really want to see and like, what parts and things y'all really want to yeah just see more of so i appreciate that just wanted to say that real quick well as it stands we've hired helpers and we've acquired the everlasting incense the completion of our preparations is not far off Woo, finally well traveler have you gained anything from our adventure so far been odd odd hmm are experiencing the struggles of the poor. <laughs> Which is it, I wonder? The questions that such travels raise are ever so complicated. Well, I'll leave you to ruminate over it yourself. As to remuneration for your help, I've decided to treat you to a meal. Zhang Li treating. Mm -hmm. Oh, ah, yes, don't worry. I will remember to bring the Mora this time. Okay. Tonight, I shall take you both to an old hole in the wall, praised throughout Lyra. Hole in the wall? As in a cool restaurant? <laughs> Indeed. Let us meet near the harbor, at third round knockout. Neato. The long goodbye. Okay, so we gotta wait a little while. I think we're actually going to be getting towards the very end of this one here in this video, so let's go ahead and run over there and grab that story. Uh, we actually just finished going through and preparing the Rite of Parting, which was required us to do basically almost three episodes worth of stuff. So if you guys want to check those parts out before you check this out, definitely uh, hit those up. Otherwise, we are going to meet Mr. Zhang Li up here and have a little, uh, have a little meal ma'am ma'am do you need help do you need assistance i can help you no i can't all right you're stuck bye <laughs> all right so i'm fully anticipating having to pay for this so we'll see ah you're here there's no need to order i've already done so third round knockout is not for lightweights like those taverns in mondstadt here the owner does not take such unorthodox orders as fruit juice so does this mean I can order wine this time? I ordered some wine fermented sweet rice balls for you, if that counts. I guess I should have expected this. If it is to your liking, dear customers, I shall continue the tale of Lady Ningguan's Jade Chamber. That sounds dirty. <laughs> hey, there's even a storyteller here! Great atmosphere! Besides fine wine, the excellent ambiance is the reason why this place is so well loved. 
But when I say ambiance, I refer to a different sort from the one the Tevat Travel Guide uses to judge other establishments. As you all know, high above the land of Liua lies a pavilion in the clouds, a palace in the mist. What does it mean to have all-seeing eyes? This, my friends, Lady Ningguan's masterwork that bridges earth and sky. Imagine, the weather is clear, and you gaze down from the deck on the world below. Behold, the glorious sights of Liyue Harbor, stretching out far and wide. It's the Coco Coat. They say that when Lady Ningguan ponders important affairs, she retreats to her jade chamber with none but her three closest confidants in tow. Why brings she these trusted three to sift through sources, dig through documents, looking for information? Piece by piece, facts and figures paint a picture on the walls of the chamber. But well before the wall is filled, Lady Ningguang's mind is made up. Having made her call, she has every last document shredded, and whoosh, she scatters the shavings out her window. Ah, look at them, how they billow in the wind like a sudden swirling lizard. As the fragments fall, Traces of text flicker before the eyes of the merchants of Liyue, like ink stains in white snow. The saying goes, the rarest treasures in the land are the words brought by the paper snow. For the words of the Tianquan have the power to move mountains, and all throughout the land know it. These are but scraps of paper, and yet they guide Lady Ningguang's hand. Such is their value. Merely grasping one or two of them will surely gift you a fragment of her wisdom. Enough to stay a step or two ahead of your peers. Tiantuan Ningguang. Feels like we're hearing this name a lot. Liyue locals talk about her, the Fatui hate her, she's most likely the one who hid the Exuvia, and we saw her at the Rite of Dissension. Huh. Paimon wonders what sort of person she is. At last I have found you. You who returned from Juayun Karst. Who's there? Paimon, we gotta go. <laughs> Wait, I am not with the Millilith, nor am I here to claim your bounty. However, I am an emissary of the Liyue Achising. My name is Ganyu, secretary at the Yuahai Pavilion, and I have come specifically to meet you. Emissary? Well, in concrete terms, I am the corporate secretary for the Achising. At the moment, I am serving as Lady Ningguang's special emissary. Ningguang sent you? We were literally just talking about her. My apologies, you who have returned from Jiayun Karst. I am duty-bound and cannot extend my courtesy to you in full. But I have with me a letter from Lady Ningguang. She extends a formal invitation to you in her capacity as Tianquan. She invites you to her palace in the sky. Ooh, fancy. An official invitation? <laughs> Lady Ningguang said this. Invite him to come here. I wish to meet him. At the Jade Chamber, together we shall snip every one of these entwining dark threads. What should I try this? Oh, wow, that was really fast. And with that, the emissary who called herself Ganyu just disappeared. But we've received an invitation from the Liyue at Qixing. Paimon still can't believe it. We'll be meeting people that have way more money than Paimon could ever count. We should be on our best manners. Paimon's up to something again. <laughs> An invitation to visit the Jade Chamber is a rare honor indeed. You'd best be on your way now. But don't forget about the rite of parting. Once you've finished at the Jade Chamber, meet me at Dihua Marsh. Don't worry, we won't forget. Dihua Marsh. We'll see you there.
Okay. Well, I'll be honest with you guys. I didn't anticipate being able to just like finish that so fast. All right, buddy. So that is going to be it for today's episode of Genshin Impact. I'm back again, by the way. Hey, how are you guys? This is Jonathan from the intro, actually. But all right, so we uh, just finished up learning more and got invited by our own very own Coco Goat, potentially, uh, Ganyu up there on the roof. And we had our little dinner with uh, Zhang Li. That was nice, wasn't it? <laughs> all right, guys. And also, also I think we uh, definitely got some more inclination that Child is not a very nice person. And I, uh, I'm not going to spoil anything, but I know some stuff about the next uh, story beat and... Uh, We'll find that out first, uh, first hand maybe. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Um, I'll be bringing you guys a 1.1 story bit very, very soon. Expect that this week, actually. Other than that, I've been a JP Fire Pledge. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.